two exciting new features in Microservice CAD 2013 is Google Maps and Google Earth support. So let's look at the Google Maps support. So this drawing that we're looking at, this is a Field Genius project that was uh, downloaded in, into this drawing. It's an RTK survey and really there's just some uh, points on the uh, parking lot that were picked up, some uh, paint lines and some curb shots. So this is reference into a coordinate system. It's a UTM zone 11. And if I go to our points database, you can see we definitely got UTM coordinates here. And you're gonna see there's this new column here called map. And when you see this icon, if you click on it, what it'll do is it'll open up your web browser and open up a Google map window and place a marker in the map of where that point is. So you can use this, to, you, know, you can use the Google Maps to just verify that those points are in uh, the correct location. Of course, it's an RTK survey, so it's very accurate. So it's always surprising how uh, close the imagery um, using Google Maps or Google Earth actually matches, um, you know, the surveyor's work. So there you have it. That's how you can um, view some points inside of Google Maps. It's very useful. And the next one we're going to look at is taking this line work in points and exporting it to a KML file for Google Earth. So the command is write KML. You can also choose it from the MS uh, points menu. And here's some options for the KML file that's going to be created. I'm just going to accept the defaults and just press OK. We'll overwrite the existing file that's there. And you'll see Google Earth here will automatically start. And unfortunately, it always starts full screen. So once it finishes loading the KML file here, I'll move it into place. So inside of Google Earth, you can see we got all our points represented and the line work. So now you can see how the line work looks. It's pretty neat. And once again, this is an RTK survey, so the actual points and line work, we know that's very accurate. But uh, once again, it's just it's inter interesting to see how close the imagery matches, you know, the real work that the surveyor did here.